Hey fun fans, our featured team is 148 the Robo Wranglers, and they've hooked us up with an awesome giveaway of a Deep Space Cowboys 148-118 t-shirt. To enter, be a YouTube subscriber and comment in any video with your favorite 148 robot. You can enter in any video that has his intro through October 9th, so make sure you comment below. Hi guys, I'm Ishan from FTC Live, and here we're with Team 9445 Loading, who is the winning Alliance second pick at the Maryland State Championship and made it to the World Championship last year. Here, they're doing the Robot in Three Days Challenge, and let's take a look at their robot, which is made out of a lot of rev, and they've got some cool mechanisms that they want to show us. So, you were talking a little bit about your intake mechanism. Can you try to explain that to me? So, our intake mechanism is pretty much based off of just two continuous servos with little two-inch compliant wheels attached to them. So they run just either in or out. We have their map to uh, analog triggers on our controllers so we can control the intake or outtake speed, which is mostly useful when we're stacking because we don't have to just drop them on. So we can kind of lower them a little bit into position, which is useful because we don't have to, you know, risk dropping it and knocking our whole tower over. And then they're mounted on these other two continuous servos which are going to be changed to 270s at some point. but And that helps us level so we can go down and pick stuff up. That's really cool. It's cool to see the multiple degrees of freedom that you guys have, and that allows you to get very precise stacking. Another thing I noticed on your bot that a lot of people are going to notice are these wheels. So what do you guys think about these Rev Mechanum wheels? What, what's so special about them? Uh, well, especially compared to last year's wheels. Last year we used the... Uh, the Andy Mark, the gray ones that are four inch wheels. And these ones are, com by comparison, if you've ever seen the other ones, they're a lot smaller. They're only three inches and they're about half as wide. And the rollers on them are much grippier and they also spin way more freely and with a lot less noise. They're a lot quieter, but they're more grippy. They're mounted on like ball bearing mounts. So when they spin, they spin very freely, which is a nice change over last year's. So you also use a lot of rev on this. Like you've got the rev mechanum wheels, you've got the rev extrusion everywhere. What was your thinking behind using rev? Why did you pick to use that so often? So the reason that we use rev is because it allows you a lot of freedom in just moving things around. Like the back here, all we have to do is loosen two bolts and we can take both of our hubs off at the same time. Um, it helps you build almost like a modular design. You can take things off a lot easier. Um, yeah. That's really cool. I mean, having Rev really makes a versatile robot. And do you want to talk a little bit about how you guys do the capstone? I mean, you're one of the only teams here with the capstone. Do you want to show it off and and show other people how it works? So our capstone, it's actually, you can't see it. It's made out of a relic recovery foam block <laughs> that we cut down to size and covered in uh, field tape. And then we kind of decorated it for our team. But it's essentially, we measured out this hole in the bottom so that it fits over here with a little bit of wiggle room so that if we're a little off, it'll still sit down on. But it picks up exactly the same as a block. We're actually going to half the height of it because we can right now put a capstone on with a six high tower. Were this to be half the size, we could release it on a seven high tower, which is, you know, it's a whole extra two points. So, you know, worth making the modification. But we pretty much pick it up exactly the same way as the sky stone. We just come down and intake it right in. That's really cool. Thank you guys very much for participating in this interview. And we look forward to seeing you guys on the competition field. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.